one thing I would say that I picked up on a couple years ago that is, I feel like definitely remains true, and I don't think people talk about it enough. I listened to like Sway in the Morning like mm. daily for a long time. I'm and, Joe Budden podcast. That's oh, okay, this oh, is Joe man. Budden. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so they used to have a lot of upcoming artists on there. Yeah. So what I would do was whenever they dropped their social networks. Mm -hmm. I would then go there, mm -hmm. follow them, send them a DM, reach out to them. Right. A lot of them get back to you because they're up and coming. Because they're on, they're on they, their buzz right exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I would say like something like, you know, I saw, I heard, heard you about this on that. Like, and then, you know, you killed the follow for follow. Yeah. yeah, you killed mm -hmm. that, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then they would respond and, you know, hopefully you can work from there. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually when I was doing the blog, hip hop blog. Mm -hmm. And so I would use that as a segue that's to get smart. in. Yeah. But I would get a lot of good followers back. But also, the let's say, individuals that you really want to connect with, I don't know, like a Virgil or, um, I'm just going to say Pusha T just because we're in, in Norfolk. Yeah. Go to who they're following. Oh, for sure. They have regular people who are in their teams mm -hmm. that might have clout, might not, you don't know. But... Pusha T follows them, or Pharrell follows them, mm -hmm. or Trey Songs follows them. So if you start looking through who they follow mm -hmm. and see somebody that's interesting, and that. then you might be able to reach out and plug with them because they only have 2,000 followers, right. but they have clout. And sometimes it's not even, yes, the, the ones that have 2,000 followers, they, they're more accessible to reach, but someone that, like for example, not many people would think to hit up Lenny S., like yeah. Lenny asked for pies to his DMs, like mm -hmm. even though he's he's a manager at a Khaled and stuff like that, he's mm -hmm. around Terrence J. But these people, they're normal, just like all of us. So yeah. shoot your shot and just just kind of give engagement, like go in a story, do the laughing emoji, say yeah. something back, or those is dope, or you killed that, or I would have did it this way if I was you, but I see you. Like do certain type of just talk to these people. Yeah, you never know what you'll get back a lot of times. Exactly, and I, I've noticed that, and I got some some people following me that is like okay bet like these are people that you want mm -hmm. but it's like like you said engaging with them but then also trying to get more i feel like that's one challenge i'm trying to get better at mm -hmm. is finding that fire to continue to meet more people on social exactly. networks like i was when i was in undergrad or whatever it's it's a challenge social media could definitely be taxing and stressing <laughs> yes but like and i i manage social media for other businesses too like mm -hmm. that's one of the bigger ways that we bring in income but like some days, like all right, I, I just I can't be on yeah. right now, especially with all the George Floyd and everything going on. But yeah. I think it's you gotta have a certain muscle to it, make it make it funner. Even kind of give yourself like a schedule. Okay, mm -hmm. well, this day on this time, that's when I'll just I'll just do DMs. I'll just DM people. Yeah. Um, speaking of DMs, I say a smart thing that I do if you get a follow. Hey, I appreciate the follow. My name I go by Coach Cal. Um, I made an app. Check me out. Let me know what you think. If it's dope. Share some people. If it's not, you never heard from me. Put something funny like that in it. It, it works. If like, it's trash, like let me know. Exactly. Like. Well, I say if, if it's dope, let me know. If it's trash, you never heard from me. It, don't know me. Because a lot of times if you DM somebody, they may not reply back. But if you say something that kind of gives them yeah. some words to give a feedback, like it, it opens up conversation and dialogue. So they're like, you made that? Or they'll ask different questions like, where can I find it? Is it everywhere? I'm like, yeah, just tap the link. And just... I checked it out, bro. It's actually dope. Or I, I like this. Or I know somebody that has this. Um, you should look up this person. That's yeah. That's lit. I I, I try to do that every time I get. A I like like an introduction. Mhm. Mm yep. Um. And now Instagram has a thing where, wherever someone um hits you up, it's like an autoresponder. But I hope and wish they'll do one for when someone follows you. You can have like an autoresponder. Okay. So like if I DM you, it would just say, "Hey, what's good, bro? Um, I'm a." I'm gonna check you out in a little bit, but that's like for people that are way higher. So it's not. Mm. I don't think it it works to this type of level that we're at right now. That makes sense. Um, speaking back on quarantine, like how's it been making the music during quarantine? Are you still it's been you still good. chefing up? Yes, it's been good. I haven't had an issue making music. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, I guess maybe like the mood of the music has changed. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, because we haven't really been in, like, exciting times, yeah. like, in a positive, you know, like you know, drop perspective. Top type mode right Exactly. Now, yeah. I'm not in that mode right yeah. now, even though I kind of do want to put out, like, a fun summer banger type track. Like, I haven't really been in that mood. Yeah. But I have been able to move and write and, you know, 
work even have some sessions with other artists who probably mm -hmm. would have been busy with school or busy working but we have the time so we can link up and we can have some good sessions together I think so. one huge thing about and I think I already know the answer but just to let the the viewers and, and listeners attach to it how do you feel it's been far as what what way are you recording now are you going to the studio or are you doing this at home I'm doing it at home primarily mm -hmm. But I do think, depending on the tracks, depending on, on the studio you go to, mm -hmm. that you do have a value going to a studio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, practicality is time is money, and you need as much money as possible to fuel, you know, your brand. Mm -hmm. And so, if you can save time and money by just doing stuff yourself mm -hmm. i used to always think that oh well i'll just get someone else to mix my music mm -hmm. it's gonna save me time i was gonna ask that yeah it doesn't really mm -hmm. because you still have to email back and forth mm -hmm. with the engineer about right. what you want the mix to sound like the engineer might have a full plate if he's a good engineer he most likely does mm -hmm. and so he might take a little while to, to get to your music mm -hmm. and so i've started to realize that I should just be mixing my own stuff. Mm -hmm. We have all the technology. I have all the technology I need to it's do so. It's 2020 now. It's not that old. It's 2020. Shit. And then you can Google if you don't know how to do a certain thing or get YouTube a certain University, sound. University, for and, sure. Yeah. And then I even got a, 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 a mastering software that I use so I can have master my own mm -hmm. stuff. Now, well, honestly, it masters it for me. But, right. you know, it still saves me a bunch of money mm -hmm. and time from going back and forth with people. I'm, I'm starting to realize the more people you add to the equation, sometimes it can take you longer because you have if you have communication breakdowns. For sure. If y'all not all in the same room For tackling sure. it, you know, there could it could actually end up taking longer than you just doing it yourself. So um, I do uh, most of my music making myself, mm -hmm. but um, I do plan to go to some of the other studios in Richmond and work with more so like the producers and engineers, mm -hmm. like and have that in-house experience with them i think that I helps right there too yeah. um now when you spoke on like the the engineer taking out time to mix do you feel that while you're in the studio is you're more apt to get your things mixed and mastered quicker yes at that point Definitely. do you think or more so do they do it on the spot at that point or are they mm -hmm. just because okay we just had that relationship i'm gonna make sure i get it done for him quicker it's it's a little bit of both mm -hmm. so yes when you pay for your hourly studio time mm -hmm. i personally feel like if they're a professional studio mm -hmm. they will get your stuff mixed down quicker okay you know um now you not gonna get that done in an hour or right, two right, hours right. it's probably more than a three to four hour span and then some studios don't like sessions going more than three hours so mm -hmm. you know you might do three hours today three hours next week mm -hmm. you know so you can get a, a, in my opinion, I feel like you can get a song done in two sessions. Okay. Like that, should, that, that should be your plan. For you sure. Know, two hours here, two hours there, three hours here, an hour here. Like. Do you generally have your your verses and hooks and bars already? Oh yeah. Written or okay. So you at least <laughs> yeah, have an idea. I ain't, I ain't wasting no time. Yeah. Because 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 the the clock starts when you, you open know, that door for really. Yeah, you yeah. when they open that door. So it's like I try to have all that stuff down. That was one issue I had initially coming up is that I was still trying to write some of my verses. I'm writing some, writing a verse in the studio while he's mixing, and then I take it home and I yeah. don't like it, and I have to go back. So that was one of the the big issues I had early on when I was making music. And mm -hmm. now I perfect the music before I even get in the studio. Mm -hmm. I, I might even record it before I get to the studio. So you know what? So I know yeah. how I want it to sound, mm -hmm. and when I get there.